pick out this Sherlock on those Shanghai and the Shamrock Junk with the Japanese letters, McDonald's, Satanic McDonald's from the Japan. Let's see. Around the tree, that way the tree can still grow and be right next to the home. How amazing is that? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't notice the curve in the roof. Uh, it's gross. Tastes like peppermint or some shit. And I wondered why. This is why. Oh, that's absolutely that's gross. Awesome, right? All right. Why would you, you put peppermint in a shake? Now we have these steps taking us to the outdoor. It looked cool though. And the outdoor patio. Don't buy this one though. It's important for me to build any buyer side. My company wouldn't be where it is today. Ordinary dish soaps can leave invisible grease behind. Only Dawn Platinum removes 99%. Yeah, that thing. Mm -mm. It tastes good, though. It tastes like it was done well. Maybe somebody will like it. Whoever likes it, shouts out to you. It tastes all right, though. It was done well. It was nicely uh, mixed. I'm assuming that's what you call it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've never heard that term before. Fish rice is good. Let's try this now. Um, Let's see what this shit tastes like. The construction that's above us. The Wick Wick Donald Wick Donald sauce. You can close off this entire section. You even have spacey this year. This might be one of my favorite areas. Let's try this shit. Look like some mumbo sauce or some shit. Oh yeah, don't drink that shit. That shit, man. My stomach hurt already. That shit gross. Tastes like um, peppermint and milk and shit. Yeah. So you can close it off and get that minimalist look, or you can just leave it open and watch TV. Now let's go to the other side. Again, you have your outdoor seating area with a built-in fire pit. And now, I want to cover the kitchen. See, them Asians got a little bit of a different palette. This is the built-in outdoor kitchen. Then we do on the mansion. It's like a... So, some of y'all shit, because I be watching them videos. They'll... They'll do some hybrid flavors and shit that you might never see in America. And this is one of them. It's like a... It's like spicy, tangy... Teriyaki. Or if somebody do teriyaki on top of barbecue sauce or something. And my favorite detail in this outdoor kitchen is the pizza. Like a, ter a teriyaki barbie. But I like it. I like the spice. It's got some spice to it. I like the way they incorporated. That spice is saving it. Concrete column. It's actually at an angle. Because if you've seen the earlier video. Can you look at the top of this column? Motherfucking, um. I was complaining about damn McDonald's. We need them spicy nuggets year-round. Which is fascinating. They even made this section architectural. So that's the first one. It was the first thing I noticed. And this, um... I had no idea it was for a pizza. I should have tried it out. I have to say, this is probably the most organized... Okay, McDonald's, I'm going to give you... In the world, you know? You're batting one... One and one. Let's go to the other side. Now, I'm going to show you guys the outdoor patio. Now, this is 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 the outdoor patio. Now, this Shuffle this shit. If you don't want to enjoy the full size one, yeah. Then a really nice bar countertop here is actually really unique. Mm -hmm. Combined together. I'm gonna get that a three. Top. Then we have wood countertop here. Sense, bronze up with I'm gonna get this. Get this an eight. And this is your bar for the recreation room. Now on the other side, another small seating area with a lighted coffee table. No, let me get myself some water. Now, I'm drinking this now, McDonald's. You got to have me drink a salsa water. Got me drinking that motherfucking nasty ass fucker. Shamrock shit. And before we cover the screening room on this side, I actually want to talk about an interesting detail. So we have two board form concrete walls here. This one, they formed it out of, I want to say, two by six planks. That's why you can see so many. Now, granted, I didn't see any advertisement. You look over to this side. I just got that shit off the top. So I knew I was coming into some uh, unknown. And I couldn't think in my head for the life of me. What the fuck with the green? Why would it be green? Now I see why it's green. It's mint. Like mint. 
hold everything in place. And I'm not feeling it. But I am feeling this shit, though. Fiberglass rods. Typically, they use rebar. Right? Rebar, correct. But rebar sometimes... I'm feeling these Mark Broken Nuggets. Versus, uh, fiberglass maintain its look. Like the spicy it's cherry. Yeah, I can eat barbecue. And it's just a clever detail. I guess was really excited when you saw this. When I saw this, I was like, they know what they're doing. You know? I'll All fuck right, with that. Let's come over here. Thank you for at least doing something. It's better than nothing. Because you know... Room. Comfortable seating section, mm. drop down projector. Nice you know, food, motherfucking arm. Um, normally, motherfucker. It's part of your recreation room. A lot of times, home this scale. <coughs> room, motherfucking McDonald's guy. I ain't gonna lie, McDonald's. That, that shit was alright, McDonald's. Let me, um, let's see what else we got. Nah. I got the standard Big Mac. That motherfucker, standard Big Mac. But then, what I got here, I got the double quarter pounder. Let's see if we can line that up. So I got the double quarter pounder. Right? With the Big Mac. I'm going to take the Big Mac meat, switch it with the quarter pounder meat. Wait for it. Bow. How they oriented the structure on this lot, which is really good size, and how they kept it so private and brought these organic elements with landscaping, material selection, it's, it's, just, it's really impressive. That's all I'm going to say. Now, the pool here has a motorized cover. Looks super amazing. Okay. You have two gay beds on the other side. Voila. That's your race. <laughs> that motherfucker now is the size that it would normally be. If you motherfucking got down, you bought a proper sandwich. Now, honestly, I've never done this before. Because I never had a quarter pounder. If you see the regular patty, that's a regular Big Mac patty. That's a chicken nugget. And that's a french fry. <laughs> that's the new sauce. Unopened. That shit right there, open. So we in the game. This is what we got. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. First time, Big Mac. E-Man, now you got to give me my... If the other nigga, you gave that big nigga the credit. You gave that big nigga the credit for the motherfucking Big Mac, double Big Mac. You got to give me credit for the for the quarter pounder Big Mac, big boy jump. Big boy jump. It's a hit. No, I'm not them. Now, I'm going to keep it on. Let's keep it 300 clicks. And I'm not like these other niggas. I'm not going to size it. I'm not going to size it. It's for when you hungry. If you feeling hungry, you ain't fuck with McDonald's in a while like I haven't. You can want all in. Fuck it. Get you the double jump. See, now maybe that's, maybe that's McDonald's logic. McDonald's logic is that we can't have nothing on the menu that you niggas just randomly feel like you want to eat. So basically, they feeling like shit. If you want that luxury, if you want the double quarter pounder Big Mac, then nigga, you gonna have to motherfucking buy a quarter pounder and assemble at home. That might be the case. We have the bathroom on my left hand side. It's a powder bathroom with a floating vanity, skylight above. That might be the case, McDonald. Yeah. That might be the case. Coming back, you, we go straight into the office. This room is dedicated for the bathroom. You can't really afford to have something on the menu that I'm only going to eat once a year. That might be true. If that's true, 
then leave this sauce on here. <laughs> we were just talking about that in the last video, McDonald's. This one, bring this one. Mm. I like what you've been doing with the sauces. Whoever been doing them sauces, they get a raise. Now McDonald's, you know I'm mad about that shamrock because I could have had a high C. You owe me high C sodas for life, at least McDonald's. You can eat McDonald's, you just ain't supposed to be eating fucking McDonald's every fucking day. This is my first McDonald's of the year. I ain't gonna lie, that motherfucking Big Mac combo package. Because mm. I sprinkled some of the um, quarter pounder in ingredients on with. So I sprinkled some of the sliver of the onions. I sprinkled the sliver of the onions. Mmm, that's alright. And look, I got some to go. Whereas you know, normally when you eat your Big Mac, it's gone in two, three bites. I done been munching on this bitch. This motherfucking quarter pounder might last all afternoon. Cause I'm I'm full now. I already had the nuggets, some fries, got a burger. I fuck with it. I'm fucking with the McDonald's. Uh, excuse me. I'm gonna wrap it up and give it a review. That shamrock shit. Pass, big pass. That's a big pass. The sauce, eight point nine, eight point eight, eight point nine. Depend on the person. Now, depend on the person, it might be an eight point seven. Or depend, it's gonna be a scale. It's gonna slide on that scale. No, no less than an eight point eight. I thought it was a decent sauce. And it wasn't terrible. It wasn't like it wasn't like that shamrock shit. If that shamrock shit tasted like that sauce. We would have, ugh, I'd have been, we'd have been real down bad. At least the sauce saved it. So that's how I know it's got to be up in the eights. Because that salt, that, that fucking, ugh. But it was well mixed. It tasted all right. It looked it all right. But it tasted like, ugh. So that's why I gave it a three. I could have gave it a fucking zero. But I'm going to give it three for whoever fucking made it. They did it. They, they barista the fuck out of that motherfucker. That Mick Cafe put they Mick fucking foot in that fucking junk to save it. Or it would have fucked. It's gross. Buy it to prank somebody and give it to them and watch their face curl up. And, and them hate you. So I don't know if you... Don't do it. People be mad at you for that shit because they going to think it tastes good. So don't even do that shit. Nigga going to be mad. Because a nigga hand me that shit and I'm going to think, ooh, what's this about to be taste? You going to think it's good. And then you take, what the fuck is this shit? So that's what I say. McDonald's. I know mint chocolate, all that. I know that was the vibes. Maybe just change the color, but make it something that tastes good. Don't make it taste like the color. You see what I'm saying? So had it still tasted like a regular... Whatever, a chocolate mint shake or something. Where you just put a little chocolate mint or something. As opposed to making this thing a whole chocolate vanilla type of thing. Or milk vanilla. I don't know what that shit is. That shit is gross. We'll see though. We'll let somebody else try it. And see if they fuck with it. But I don't think so. I'm thinking it's going to end up being a two, a one, a zero, a toss. The combination Big Mac um, hybrid fusion. The hybrid that shit was good. I'm already full off a couple of bites of that. And normally a Big Mac, you polish that junk. So that might be your plan, McDonald's. You might be not doing it that way because you know a nigga get full and then that's the feast of purpose of the scam. I don't know.
So that's that. French fries was good. Chicken nuggets was good. That sauce was good. I'm going to give it a... About like what it always gets. About an 8 even overall. About a 7.98 overall. You skated in there again, McDonald's. But we, I want to see... I want to see the day... And I know you can't even make enough money over these years. I want to see the day where McDonald's comes out with a, a nine, a level nine meal. Just like charge a nigga $18 for it, whatever, the extra $4 or whatever, and, and drop that bitch perfect. And drop a perfectly, perfectly perfect meal and have management oversee each one of the creations of that meal. And so that when people buy it, they know that it's going to come out exactly the way that you've advertised. And if you could do something like that, McDonald's, I think you could You could do I mean, I don't want to say nothing. Because Popeye's, Wendy's, Wendy's is on your ass. Arby's, Arby's is on your ass. Arby's, that Wagyu beef burger might have been one of the best burgers I've ever had in my fucking life. Get your shit together, Arby's. And then you took it off the menu. So, as I say, you fucking playing around. Y'all better stick with some of these staple items and turn them into your staples. And start to redefine yourself and say, hey, this is what Arby's looks like. This is what McDonald's looks like. We're going to start to tear up and have a premium. There's a premium menu that gets treated a little bit differently than the subpar menu. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm, hey, hey, because I'm, when I get in business, I'm going to destroy you. So you got a little bit more time until I finish. I'm going to have my own. And when you see me. If you come to my fucking goddamn establishment, you better believe it's the best goddamn motherfucking goddamn burger you never had in your goddamn motherfucking life, goddamn. And that's Money Buddha, and I'm signing off.